So you're walking along one of the beautiful beaches in Portugal, drinking water and minding your own business, when all of a sudden you think you stepped on a rock or maybe a pointy shell. That initial mild pain you felt quickly becomes really intense, almost to the point of being unbearable. A little while later you look down and your foot is red and swollen. What happened and what do you do? But first, hello. Hola, bonjour, ciao, konnichiwa, jambo, ni hao, namaste, guten tag, ahamyaseo, assalamu alaikum, shalom. I'm Dr. Michelle Scullock with My Stethoscope Travels. And on this channel, I review the latest medical recommendations for traveling to destinations around the world. We talk about what to do before you go, where to get medical care abroad, and how to stay well while you're traveling so that you can boldly explore all the corners of the world. So if this sounds good to you, like this channel, subscribe, tell your friends who you travel with, and hit the notification button so that you can be notified with my next video. Be sure to watch until the end because I'm going to share with you the know before you go tip of the day. And remember, Though I'm a real doctor and board certified in internal medicine, I am not your doctor. So please discuss any concerns you have with your primary physician who knows your medical history best. Welcome. On the coast of Portugal, spiderfish are common. They hide in the sand and aren't easy to see once you get into the water. And the water's not always transparent. So between where they live, the opaqueness of the water, and sometimes the splashing of the waves, Spiderfish may not be seen, and spiderfish bites can occur, just like the one I described. So what do you do? First, let your family, friends, and lifeguard know. Then, check to see if there are any remaining parts. If so, carefully remove them with a tweezer and quickly disinfect the area, because within 30 minutes, you'll want to begin soaking your foot in hot water with vinegar if you've got some, just to break down the toxin. And for the next 12 hours, keep your foot in hot water as much as possible. Ibuprofen and acetaminophen, also known as Tylenol or paracetamol if you happen to be overseas, both of these can be used for pain and swelling, just alternating between the two. Usually the pain will resolve anywhere between 2 and 24 hours later. See a doctor if additional symptoms occur and call for emergency services if there are signs of a severe allergic reaction like shortness of breath, swelling with a change in voice, chest pain, loss of consciousness, or even a seizure. Now, these are my flip-flops. They don't have any logos. I know, they're basic. No, not basic because I'm not basic. They're minimalist. And even though I love, love, love these, I'm not going to wear them the next time I get into the water. So my know before you go tip of the day is to avoid the bite of a spider fish, wear shoes with a plastic sole that are suitable for walking in the water. Look for signs also posted at the entrances of beaches that usually indicate the risk of a spider fish bite so that you can take the necessary precautions. Let me know in the comments, have you ever had a spider fish bite? Were they even on your radar as something to watch out for? Now you know how to avoid spider fish and what to do if you should have an unfortunate encounter. But one last thing, fellow travelers, if you would like to receive my free international packing list, check the description box. And if you're planning a trip to Portugal, be sure to check out my video, Be Prepared to Walk. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So until next time, safe travels. Bye.